Hi, this is Lisa, and I'm going to show you an application I'm dependent on, even though it's a, a pretty dicey thing to use, but I use it in order to keep track of the comments I make on other people's blogs. And in a class like uh, we're doing in Pedagogy First, that's really important to me to be able to reference those, so I'm still using it. Uh, this is CoComment, and it, you get an account by going to cocomment.com. I am already logged in here. And you'll notice it says I'm using a non-supported browser. This is because I'm in Safari. Although CoComment recommends Firefox, I'm not sure they're keeping it up to date because it doesn't work in Firefox 6. It looks like it's working, but then it doesn't save any of your comments. So I need to use Safari when I uh, cruise around people's blog posts. So I'm doing that now, and I'm coming upon John's post with the flower. And he's done this a couple of times, and I, I just want to say thank you. So I'm going to go to John's blog. And here's where I use the co-comment. Uh, they call it a menulet or a bookmarklet. And I just had dragged it up to my uh, bookmarks bar from the co-comment plugins page, which I'll take you back to in just a moment. And you can see here it uh, comes up and says I'm, I'm here. But more importantly, down here it is showing right below the comment box. So I'm going to leave a, a comment. Just filling it in as I normally would. Saying thank you. And down here what's happening is it's automatically uh, going to record it. When I go back on a blog where I've left a comment and forgotten, for example, to have it tracked, I can actually uh, tell it to do that. And that clearly lets it know that I want this conversation tracked so that if John then replies to me, I'll know about it. So you just click Submit like you normally do. It just takes a few seconds longer because you've got co-comment running. And you do have to make sure that that bar comes up. So you can see I've just got my comment regularly here. If I go back to co-comment now and go to my conversations, you'll see that up here it's now added the conversation to my list. Uh, there's no additional comments after me yet. Uh, these are the ones I recorded last night after I figured out that um, Firefox wasn't working and I went back in Safari and managed to use that little track menu to bring back all the comments that I left on people's blogs last night. But what this will tell me ultimately is um, when somebody replies to my comment or when somebody adds a comment to that particular um, blog, I'll know about it now. The, um, the way I do this in this browser and got this little um, menu letter bookmarklet up here was just to go to um, browser extensions. Now there's a way to do this with a very complicated toolbar and I just don't bother. And again the main extension is for Firefox. But what you're looking for is this, the bookmarklet, which will detect what browser you're in. So it's showing me instructions for Safari and all I had to do was drag this. It's probably going to make a a second one here. Just drag this up to my um, bookmark bar and it just appears here so that when I do that the uh, comment on a blog I just click on there and it works. So I'm not using the full features I'm only using a portion of it but uh, it definitely helps me track the conversations and I can get back to any blog from here and and see what's going on. It'll actually open things right here so that I can read the comments or I can go back to the original blog but at least I know what's going on. I know when people have 